Tools of Word Processor Class 4 ICT By the end of this session, you will learn about Editing and formatting tools Changing font, font size, font style, and font color Text highlight color, shading and strike through Superscript and subscript and changing text case making corrections in the documents and presenting it without errors shows quality of work to do so you need to edit the document changing the style of text its size or color gives the document a different look you need to learn some tools to format the text to make your document attractive this can be done by changing font type, font size, font style, and font color of the text. Let us learn how to do this. To change the font type, select the text. On the Home tab, in the Font group, click the arrow next to the Font button. A drop down list appears. You can preview how the new font will look by taking the mouse pointer over the new font type. Click the font you want to apply to the text. To change the font size, that is, the size of the letters in Word 2013, select the text. On the Home tab, in the Font group, click the arrow next to the Font Size button. A drop down list appears. You can preview the font size by taking the mouse pointer over the desired size. Click the font size you want to apply. Font styles are predefined formatting options that are used to emphasize the text. Let us see the various font styles and its function. Bold Text appears to be darker than the normal text. It is usually used for titles and headings. Shortcut key is Ctrl plus B Italic Appears to be slanted towards the right. It is used for headings or to emphasize the keywords. Keyboard shortcut is Ctrl plus I Underline Text appears to be underlined. Shortcut key is Ctrl plus U. To change the font style, select the text. On the Home tab, in the Font group, click B. The text will appear bold. Now, click I from the Font group. The text will appear italic. And when you click on U, an underline will appear under the selected text. For changing text color, select the text. On the Home tab, in the Font group, click the arrow next to the Font Color button. A drop down palette appears. Select the color by clicking the color you want to apply. To make the text look like the text marked with a highlighter pen, we use text highlight color. Shading is used to color the background behind the selected text. And, strike through draws the line through the middle of the selected text. To apply text highlight, select the text. On the Home tab, in the Font group, click the down arrow next to the Text Highlight Color button. A drop-down palette appears. Click the color you want to use as highlighter. For shading, select the text. On the Home tab, in the Paragraph group, click the down arrow next to the Shading button. Choose the color of your choice from the color palette. 
the selected color appears as the background of the text. To strike a text, select the text. On the Home tab in the font group, click Strike Through button. You will notice a line crossing the word. Now let us see superscript and subscript. Superscript reduces the size of the text, and creates small letters above the line of text. And the subscript effect reduces the size of the text, and places it slightly below the original text. To apply the superscript effect, select the text. On the Home tab, in the Font group, click Superscript. It can be useful for writing mathematical equations. To apply subscript effect, select the text. On the Home tab, in the Font group, click Subscript. It can be used for writing chemical equations. Changing the text case. You can change the capitalization of words, sentences or paragraph by using Change Text Case option. Let us see the various options and their functions. Sentence Case To capitalize the first letter of a sentence and leave all other letters as lowercase, click Sentence Case. Lowercase To exclude capital letters from your text, click Lowercase. Uppercase To capitalize all of the letters, click Uppercase. Capitalize each word. To capitalize the first letter of each word and leave the other letters lowercase, click Capitalize each word. Toggle case. To shift between two case views, click Toggle case. To change the text case, select the text. On the Home tab, in the Font group, click the down arrow next to the Change case button. A drop-down list of change case option appears. Choose the desired capitalization option. Check the effect of each change case option. Aligning text Alignment means placement of the text with respect to left and right margins. There are four types of alignment. They are Left Right Center and justify. Align left is the most commonly used alignment. This aligns the text to the left margin. Cantor alignment is used to place text in the middle of the line. It is usually used for headings. Align right is used to place the text at right margin. And justify option aligns the text to both left and right margins. To align the text, select the text. On the Home tab, in the Paragraph group, click any of the options of alignment. And observe the changes. Line and Paragraph Spacing Line spacing means the amount of space in between the lines of text in a paragraph. Line spacing can be single, 1.5, double, multiple or you can select your own value. To adjust spacing, select the text. On the Home tab, in the Paragraph group, click the arrow next to the line and Paragraph Spacing button. A drop-down list of options appears. A check mark in the list tells about the current spacing that is used. In case you wish to change the spacing, click the new spacing value. Undo and redo. To reverse the last action performed, click the undo button on the quick access toolbar and click the redo button to repeat the last action performed. Checking spellings and grammar It is also important to check spellings and grammar before you finally submit the document.
By default, Microsoft Word automatically checks the document for spellings and grammatical errors. They are indicated by colored wavy lines while you type. The red line indicates a misspelled word. The green line indicates a grammatical error. The blue line indicates a contextual spelling error. It is shown when the wrong word is used but the word is spelled correctly. To check spelling and grammar, on the Review tab, in the Proofing group, click Spellings and Grammar. For each error in your document, Microsoft Word will offer one or more suggestions. You may select a suggestion and click Change to correct the error. In case, no suggestion is given, you can type to correct the spelling. The other options that you select are, Ignore once, Ignore all, Add to dictionary, Change, and Change all. Thesaurus It is a feature that provides synonyms to the words. To use another word or synonym, on the Review tab, in the Proofing group, click Thesaurus. For selected word, the Thesaurus list opens with a list of synonym. You can select any one as you desire. To print a document, click the File menu. Select the Print option from the drop-down list. You can preview your document, on the right of Print pane. Under Settings, click Print all pages to view these options. Choose the number of copies in the Copies box. Click the Print button. Let us recap. Formatting means changing or arranging the text in a document to draw readers' attention to important sections and also to make it attractive. Font size is the size of the letters in a word. It is measured in points. The font color is the color of the text. The strike through command draws a line through the middle of the selected text. The subscript command creates small letters below the text baseline. The superscript command creates small letters above the line of text. Paragraph spacing means the total amount of space in between the two paragraphs. You can print multiple copies of a document. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated. Your comments and suggestions are valuable to us.